We are pleading with the government of Ghana to come to our aid. As ladies here in this country, we are not even able to afford like the basic needs, sanitary parts, and the ways of it all is like your parents will send you money and it gets here, it's nothing. You can't even take us as people. Why should you leave your country and come to this place and suffer? But it's not our fault. We were sent here by the government on a scholarship. Brilliant but needy students. The people you see behind me are people from very needy homes and they got a government scholarship to come and stay. Now, it has been more, more than 10 months. We are going to the 11th month without our stipends. We live in a country where rent is $120 per month. That's the cheapest you can get at a place without security. But we managed to live there because even the stipends we are having is not enough. Now, it has been almost 11 months without the stipends. The question is, how do we survive? Our landlords are chasing us from, from, from our apartments. Some of us are sleeping with our friends. Some of us are sleeping outside. Imagine sending your daughter to an Islamic country to come and study for 10 months without sending him money to pay his rent. How do you want us to survive? There are people having debts and they are, they are chasing them. And people are depressed. The last time we had someone who nearly committed suicide. We are asking you. Maybe you might say that we are making noise. This is not noise. This is not a story we are telling. This is not a narrative. This is what we are going through. Our lives are in danger. We are begging you, wherever you are. Mr. President, we are begging you. If you don't come in, there will be blood on your hands. We are begging you. If you don't get paid in less than one week, there will be blood on your hands. Wherever you are, please, cry for us. We don't have families here. You are home. At least you have somewhere to sleep. If I was home and I'm hungry, I can go to my father's house and sleep. I don't have anywhere to sleep. And I can't go to school. I came here to stay, but I don't go to school because there is nothing to... to, to. We are begging you, please. Some people are already chased from the apartment and they are sleeping outside. And next week, we don't know what is going to happen to the rest of us who are hosting some of our friends. So please, we are begging you, come in for us. Mr. President, we beg you. If you don't come in, there might be blood on your hands. We beg you.